for, but it should be quite the feast for sure. Oh, I don't Ooh, think so, Paimon. That's Paimon's stomach right on cue telling her Love it's time to go find... Oh, oh, well, okay, it must Dim sum at zoom kiosk. I mean, we've had dim sum and then some. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my fucking uh, stream. Uh, quality drops, keeps dropping. It's, it's not the quality, it's just the. Uh, what the fuck is it? Frames. The connection's just dropping slightly every once in a while. Which is fine. Like I said, if you were watching this live, like I said, we're not going to talk about what happens live while recording. Ugh. Oh, you're here early. <laughs> I just ordered. The food should be out in a second. Uh, sit down, sit down. Let's all take a seat. Yeah, you just said sit down. Here, hand me your cups. Oh, great, yeah, great. What are you pouring in, bro? Oh, thank you. Better be some fire wine. Wait, and she fucking uh, glugged through You weren't supposed to drink that, Paimon. That was for you to rinse your utensils. Bruh. What? Uh, that's a thing. Yeah, what? <laughs> I did. They were uh, one after the other. And then you, blah, blah, this is the uh, hot spring on just bro, seafood. Come on. Wow, so much delicious Pictures. food. Do you really eat all of this just for breakfast? No, what special occasion? <laughs> it's just how we do it where I'm from. No, I guess Most not. Most of the time, though, I don't eat lunch after dim sum. Oh, that's good to hear. Paimon doesn't need to worry about holding back then. Eat, eat. If it's not enough, we can always order more. Oh, and there's tong soy coming as well. I don't usually have that in the morning, but, well, since everyone's here, I just had to order it. Damn, what about bro. you, Traveler? Is the food to your liking? Uh, want some more seafood kanji? Let me refill your bowl. Bruh, I'll do it myself, bro. What is happening? My mom's gonna take you up on that. Fill it up nice and full and make sure she gets a few extra shrimp. Thanks! Bruh, I'm out here fucking... She thinks she's somebody, bro. You didn't flower for you. Slowly start to relax as you enjoy the pleasant conversation of our satisfying meal. This goes on until you and Paimon came to like, damn, bro. <sighs> so full. That meal was so satisfying. It even gave Paimon some extra brain juice. A great way to start a day, oh, listen, I guess. Listen, Paimon's figured it out. What, what exactly did you figure out, Paimon? What exactly did you Let's figure think out? About this for a second, Gumming. You invited us to this awesome restaurant and ordered a whole table full of expensive dim sum just for the three of us. Well, you must be hiding the fact that you're some young master from a rich family. That would explain why you try to keep your friends and family away from each other. I mean... <laughs> Are you confusing me with Xingqiu? Honestly. <laughs> You what? sure know a lot of people. He's another young master of the Fanyu Karma Skill. Well, when you're on the road as much as I am, you hear all sorts of rumors. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not. What it comes down to is being able to tell the difference. More often than not, that means knocking on some doors to find out for yourself. Huh. That's one way to do it. Oh, you truly are a man of many talents, young master Gaming. Yeah, we're okay, calling okay, young master okay. now. enough with Jesus. the teasing. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, Paimon, but you're wrong about my family situation. What? Oh, Paimon thought she was onto something there. My dad is just an ordinary tea merchant. Small scale stuff, you know? It wouldn't even make sense to mention his business in the same breath as the Feiyun Commerce Guild. My dad... He always wanted me to inherit the family business. To be a merchant like him. But that's just not who I am. That's not who I ever wanted to be. Okay. Carefree. <laughs> Have you ever talked to him Don't about it? it? Was that? 
He's a what? He's a hard man to talk to. I didn't think I say that. Aspirations and stuff. Of course I have. I, I told him I wanted to be a wushu dancer. That I wanted all of Tavat to see what I could do. According to my dad, though, that wasn't a real job. Just a child's pipe dream. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sure he thought I would come around eventually, but wushu dancing has always been the only thing I wanted to do. One day, he tried to get me to visit some other tea merchants to start building the right relationships, but I refused to go. We got into a huge fight. We we were this close to throwing hands. Hey, but we about throw hands at him. I was so angry that I I ran away from home. I haven't been back since. Uh, don't get on my case just yet, okay? And it's not like I think I'm completely without fault. No, I know that it wasn't the right way to go about things. But my dad's stubborn. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, it just went in one ear and out the other. There was no changing his mind. Is that like a Chinese follow to me? I knew talking would only get me so far, but if I made it big in Liyue Harbor, the results could speak for themselves. Coming. But I'm sure you both already know how that's going. Wushou dancing's just not that big in Liyue Harbor. In the past, I would go door to door from store to store, asking if they would be interested in hiring a performer. Most times, I wound up eating nothing but humble pie. What's with these like modern and internet just rely on things and, like, like, food on the table, right? So I found a job as a guard to make some money. And now I have enough to get by and then some. Still, change takes time. Gotta take it slow, you know? Paimon understands. Do you? Oh, have you ever had a problem okay. like this? Enough of all that serious talk. Our tea's getting cold. Ooh, let's do something fun this afternoon. What do you say, huh? I'll organize. Thank God his story is not what I thought it was going to be. We already have plans this afternoon. We told Xian Yun that we would go to her kite making workshop. Oh? Are you interested in kite making, Gami? <laughs> yeah, bro, you want to oh, build some kites no. with us? It's just like that I happen it. to know Auntie Xian Yun. How? She moved to this city here like two fucking days ago, and this dude knows everyone? Oh, I know her. I know this character. I know you guys. I thought, man, oh, I hate this damn self-insert character. Uh, do you not know who she really is, Gami? Oh, oh I know don't that she's an adeptus. I met her during a delivery once. But hasn't she been in the city lately? She's even tried, with some limited success, to change her terms of self-address or something like that. What she came that to mean? see me a few days ago to ask about luminescent dyes. Oh, wait a second. She doesn't plan on putting those on a kite, does she? She probably Is does. Is that not something you can do? It's one thing to use it on cloth, but applying it to paper is another matter entirely. Why couldn't she tell me what she wanted them for? Yeah, she it's just the kind of person. have trouble with that sometimes. It would be also, such a shame if everyone worked person? so hard on their kites only it's for them not. to get ruined in the end. Okay, I'll go with you. If Auntie Xian Yun wants to use those dyes on a kite, the formula will need to be changed. Great! The more the merrier! Oh, you're now an expert chemist now? And <laughs> reactions? What can't this dude do? Jesus. Christ almighty, these characters. I don't even try to pronounce that dude's name. Fuck, his name probably is Heli. And not even Heli. Or Heli. Actually, it probably is Heli. No, because Lee uses two Vs. Whatever. Yep, glad his story was about uh profession and not what I thought it was. Makes things a lot easier. Well she went all the way back to here? Doesn't she already have the house? The hell is she going back here for? Fucking Mount Hokage out here. Let's see. Oh, looks like we got our whole crew here. The whole gang's here. Fucking adeptal trainees. Gathering in a nice spot. Ganyu! Ganyu! Come on, wake up! Some friends have arrived! Hello. Uh, 
wake up. You sleeping on the job, nigga. <sighs> sleeping is standing up, bro. Can uh, you? Oh, I have some mint oil. Perhaps we should try that. A guest at Wanmin Restaurant recommended it to me. I've tried it. Its stimulative effects are much stronger than what can be achieved from chewing on mint leaves alone. Jeez. He just out here sleeping. Why does she always sleep? It's not like narcolepsy, I know that. Really? They gave a whole fucking thing for that? Jesus Christ, bro. I don't need to hear the woman song. But she's gonna apply the oil without, even without her see. Oh, wait! Shenha! Why is it the Ganyu's horn? Bro, she put her oil on her horns! Hell yeah, I'm fine, but look at Shock Master like shit. <laughs> Wait, is her See, right horn shiny now? It has a glare on it. Oh, I saw it. Are you okay, Ganyu? Do you need some water? Or, or maybe something to eat? I... I'm fine. I just feel... chilly all over. <sighs> Huh. Was it that effective? Chilly, huh? Mm. Master always says a cool, cool head, head leads to a calm, calm heart. heart. So, does this mean that heat's what we need to help you, Ganyu? Uh, Pilot doesn't think that's what the expression means exactly. <sighs> You've taken a bit too little. I, I feel a bit better now. Was I asleep? Must have been around the time I usually take my midday nap. Did you not sleep last night? That does seem to happen to you often. No, she just kind of does. Perhaps stuff like you should that. come work at Wanmin Restaurant with me. We get off at ten on the dot every night without fail. I, I could never. I'm sorry. I seem to have missed your name. You are. Emma, <laughs> who's this dude standing here watching? Fucking, you put oil to this woman's head. Transport agency. Gaming. The name sounds familiar. I believe I've heard your name mentioned around the Ministry of Civil Affairs. People tell me you're an extremely enthusiastic worker, and you are very generous with your help. Uh, well, you know me. <laughs> or, uh, I guess you don't. <laughs> hey, you son of a bitch. My name is Ganyu. This is Shenha, and this is Yao Yao. Second time it's she's fucking weird, I guess. Meet you all. Or third, honestly. Oh! You must be here for Auntie Shen Yun's kite making workshop, right? Where's Chu Yu? Yes. What? I have neither made nor flown a kite before. As long as Master is willing to teach, I am willing to learn. Hey, why are you calling her Me Master? Too? She's in disguise. I want to participate in the kite flying competition with matter. my best friend. Plus, Ooh. it's more meaningful if you make the kite yourself, right? Your best friend didn't come with you? Yeah, who's your best friend? Well, Chi Chi's been super busy helping Dr. Baiju lately. Ice woman. I'll meet up with her later and give her a huge surprise. Are your friends with oh, Chi Chi? I also it's crazy when you grow up and she never does. Today. It's easy to cut yourself when working with bamboo, so I thought I should come prepared. Cut wow, yourself. You're really thoughtful. More like get splinters, bro. I'm afraid I'm I lack some of my companion's enthusiasm. I was originally planning to buy a ready-made kite and just enjoy the festive city atmosphere with everyone. But Cloud okay. Retainer is always going out of her way to look after her juniors, wanting us to have the best there is. She always puts us before herself. Huh. Good mom. It was so thoughtful of her to Be arrange disappointed this because you like your father, bro. So I simply couldn't let such consideration go to waste. My motivation for being here might be a little different, yes. But I'm ready to put in just as much effort as everyone else. Well, we're all here. But where the heck is Xin Yun? Shouldn't she be here by now? Who is it that speaks of oneself in such an ill-tempered tone? Oh, come on! You clearly heard Paimon! Well, how's Aether Paimon brings her up? That's when she falls in. with everyone. Come get it while it's still warm. Bro, I like she loves oh, the adaptive dress. You were the smartest, coolest, and prettiest adeptus. Someone as wonderful as you is sure to have brought enough for Paimon as well. Right? Damn, Paimon. Get a grip. 
didn't you? We have a massive ass fucking dim sum earlier. Not even earlier, just before we came here. I know the area is far, far, but it ain't that far that she can't be that hungry. So delicious. Hyman's life is complete. How can you still eat, child? Hmm. It appears that we've ended up with quite a few participants indeed. Go ahead and divide yourselves into small groups. The materials are over here. The regular dyes and luminescent ones have been clearly marked. Use them as you see fit. As for how to make the kite, one assumes you all made sure to listen to the instructions one provided while we were eating. Yes? Are there any questions? I like a hands-on instruction, but that shit's a bit complicated. Too hard on the eating and less on the listening. You can just help out, bro. I knew she could count on you, traveler. I knew I couldn't count on you. One That's what I'm saying. Wait under this tree and avail oneself of the cool air while one digests. Do not hesitate to seek one's company if you have any trouble, questions, or simply want to chat. We're not in any hurry to get started. Why don't we go see what the others are up to? Yeah, but let's see what the other fuckers are trying to build. What you two got going on here? Hey, coming! Want to team up? Huh? I have to participate? I thought I'd be done for the day after adjusting the dye formula. Nah, you're working with her. You're that unenthused by kite making, huh? That doesn't seem like you. No, it's not that. It's just... I don't know how to make that shit. Uh, it would take too long to explain. I guess I'll just make one then. Hmm. What shape should we go with? How about a butterfly? Desire for freedom. What do you think, Shuya? Is there a particular design you want? I want a swanny! Uh, that might be a little hard to pull off. What is a swanny? Well, but I still want bird? to try. They're super cute. <laughs> okay, it's decided then. I, I think a swanny is a type of bird. It could be a fish for all I fucking know. Gaming, can I do the coloring? <laughs> sure. I'll go ahead and make the frame for you. That kid's gonna fuck up that coloring. Maybe she's talking to the little adept uh, Deptal training. <laughs> Auntie Cloud Retainer, look! Am I doing it right? Hmm. Auntie Very Cloud good. Retainer. Your frame is nice and sturdy. This design, is it a finch? <laughs> yep. Let's <laughs> see do that. One is looking forward to seeing your finished product. How does Cloud Retainer what feel about other birds? Going to make it, Yow -yow? Yellow and white. Um, I haven't decided yet. If I make it blue, it'll be more like my friends. But if I make it gold, it'll be more like me. Blue gold, okay. If you are asking for one's I said own yellow, opinion, white. one would advise choosing gold. When giving a gift, the key consideration is the recipient's feelings, is it not? One imagines your friend would much prefer a kite that reminds them of you. Oh, hey, I never told you the kite was for Chi-Chi. How did you know? Said your friend. With age comes wisdom, child. One simply has a way of knowing things. Yeah, there's not that many oh, children cool. in the harbor. <laughs> Thanks, Auntie Cloud Retainer. Well, not that many children gonna that we're going to get interacted with right in these now. damn quests. Good. One will watch. You two seem strangely unoccupied. Honestly. One was under the impression that one was supposed to be doing the relaxing. Is your kite finished? I haven't even started. We actually haven't started yet, but we're going to start uh, right now. <laughs> no, we are not. Okay, does I oh, start the dialogue? Shenha. It would be great if you could refrain from putting things on my horns from now on. They're really quite sensitive. I see. My apologies. I shall remember that in the future. It's so weird for a ram-based creature to have sensitive horns, bro. So she can't use them defensively at all, but... In fact, they're basically a weak spot. That means her entire body was chilled by putting cold oil on them? That means her entire, like, fucking... Obviously... Since their horns are connected to like her skull and her bone structure, but, like they act as like a central point that could chill her entire body. I guess it would be like putting oil on the bones. 
It's, it's like bizarre. Like the opposite of what you'd think. Also, those can you paint her horns? No, right? So they're naturally black red. These her bones are black red. <sighs> so rather than her having like a thick headed like ram skull where she can use her horns, you know, like every other horned creature as a weapon, it's like it's an extended of her extension of her bones like jetting out of her body as a weak point. What a... I guess that's what happened when a Deftals met with humans. You think like, oh, you get the bonus of, of Quinlan plus a human. Nope. You got a weakness instead. Thank you. No harm done. She probably got the same bone structure of like a ram-headed creature, but with the weakness of human bones. Good. Could I touch them just once more though? No oil or anything this time. I've just always wondered what Miss Ganyu's horns feel like. Huh? Please, I told you, just call me Ganyu. Uh, well, all right. Just be gentle. Hmm. Firm to the touch with no discernible temperature. Oh, not unlike certain medicinal plants I've eaten before. Like plants? Still, Ganyu appears to be shaking like a cat whose whiskers have just been touched. I should stop. Damn, well, she just uh, at her horns. I see. Then I'll apply the oil to your forehead next time. Oh, no need. I'll just... refrain from taking afternoon naps outdoors. <laughs> should you have learned that lesson years ago? Anyway, we should probably get started on our kite. It won't be long before Cloud Retainer comes to check on our progress. Perhaps... Perhaps we should just choose the most traditional style. Okay. Okay. Oh, Question this dialogue is very direct. Let's not disturb them. Like, why would they not? They're the same. Like, they're, it's like, it's like they're, they're people who've never met each other. Now. Let's go. I mean, I know they were apprentices at very different times. The scissor-tailed swallow sure takes a lot of curved bamboo. Rods but like, to build. still. Ugh. It broke. <laughs> yeah. Nice strikes he's got. Crab. Once I get better at making kites, I'm going to make one shaped like you, Aguay. I knew that you was going to You gave him to me, and he's just the best. Right, Cloud Retainer gave her you, <laughs> gave her you, Gwen. One is pleased that you like the gift. Give her a fucking living being. Well, it's like I'm like adept this living being, bro. Motherfucker out here thinking she's Ron May, bro. I'm on shaped kite. Incoming. I already know. Yep, obvious answers to make a pie watch shaped kite. Oh, that's not a completely crazy idea. You already but float, so. Else, a pie munch shaped kite could at least make sure you never get lost on your travels and always find the tastiest food and funnest things to do wherever you go. Honest. Maybe we're not exercising enough artistic license. We should exaggerate this a bit. How about this? The word Paimon means the guardian angel of travelers. Second time Paimon's referred to herself as a guardian, right? Is it in the thing there where she says she's the god of, uh... Oh, what does she say she's the god of? Protection? Now, what expression should we give her? Since the kite is going to be flying super high in the sky. Afraid? Well, she's really pleased with us. I don't know, like the goofy ones. Like, I like the idea that she has a nice actual Ooh, kite. Like this? <laughs> the title of champion kite flyer is mine! Scream me having a heart attack, I can see. Yeah, that's the one. Let me rethink Since this. The kite is going to be f it's too high! Let me rethink this. Since the kite is going to be flying. Guilt. Oh, Paimon totally didn't do anything wrong. And even if she did, she doesn't deserve to get shot up into the sky for it. Something like this, then. That face is nice, but. Since the kite is going to be flying. Ooh, like this? <laughs> I don't like the guilty Paimon kite, but I'll go with the, uh. 
That's good. Now that we've decided, let's make it happen. Go with the happy pine one. Now we just have to attach the string, right? All right. Gather around, everyone. Oh, Shinyan's calling us. Oh, well, I guess we'll leave Kitemon in the back there. Let's see what we gotta say. Hmm. Let one take a look. My eyes go flashbang. <laughs> And Shenha made a scissor-tailed swallow. It's so pretty. Yep, the coloring makes it look a lot like Master. If the tail wasn't split in two like that, it might even be a spitting image. <laughs> uh, if you look closely, there are a few spots where the colors go outside the lines. Did you doze off while painting it, Ganyu? I did the painting. I stared at the paper for quite some time. But I simply could not recall the coloring of any bird. <laughs> Except Master. Or should I say that I'm too familiar with her crane form? Even when she stands before us in human form, all I can see is blue and white. <laughs> Very greenish, though. I guess that's just blue. Oh, She's more a teal. Can see it too. I can't, bro. I must be colorblind, bro. She looks teal exactly. as shit. So I simply closed my eyes and painted from memory. Look how Shen has hair is like you, you can paint with your white. eyes closed? It's off white. Oh, wow. It's like it's a bluish. The of I really are something. It's like you a pale are most blue. filial, Shen He. One is flattered by the likeness. The swanee that Gaoming and Shu Yu made looks very majestic. I'm sure it'll look even more impressive as it soars Swanee. through the sky. I was wrong. Swanee's a fucking dog creature. in the dark, so you're sure to see it at night. How do you know that? Your golden finch is cute too, Yao Yao. <laughs> Hard ass kites. To Auntie Cloud Retainer's guidance. Well, are we not gonna pull all our pull what about your kite traveler. Take a look. Ta-da! Here it is. Bro, smug Paimon is the best one, bro. Hmm. Its self-important countenance bears a striking resemblance to that of its namesake. Like her head is <laughs> giant. It makes her look like she's already won the competition. Well, that's gonna happen one way or another. Hmm. Is that the Jade Chamber? Oh, bro, what's the Jade Chamber kite doing out here? Oh. Who dares attempt such a flagrant display of impropriety by releasing a kite into one's territory without one's permission? You need permission for that? Are we in Fontaine? Do so by making use of this crude piece of mortal machinery. Does someone's kite snap Ugh, one off. Simply must know who it is that possesses such impertinence. And that was Continue transition. The strings, everyone. One will be but a moment. Cloud retainer. Like oh, even if coming down, she was a death. Is. Could I trouble you to go after cloud retainer? But she won't burn mode on medium. Okay, right? That should be I'm fun. I'm more worried about the person who released the kite. <laughs> yeah. There's wind up ahead. Looks like we can glide over. What was that title, Champion of Mud? Bro, oh, monster character for gliding? No problem. Bro. Talk about fucking flying, bro. We're fucking flying. <laughs> Someone released the kite. Like, that was the one we were supposed to buy. It probably snapped out the string. That'd be crazy if, that, if that's what I think. It snapped out the string and it comes all the way from the harbor and mechanically landed right here. There. There's no way, bro. That shit flew like 1,300 miles. It's a good mortar. Hmm. This Fontanian device of mechanical motion is quite curious indeed. Now well, it's hardly an opportune time for your that. musings. Someone among us was not sufficiently attentive, and now the kite has vanished. They let go of the string. Do you have any recollection of its last location? Mount Okaye or Koga. One believes it drifted in the direction of Mount Outsong. 
out song. Oh, I'm never getting that right. Perhaps it is mere happenstance, but one feels a certain sense of dread at the thought. Oh, no, Your he concern does. is misplaced, surely. She's gonna dive bomb on The is either in the city looking after her disciples or secluded in her abode attending to her research. She will not notice that kite. On the subject of said kite, however, one simply must remark on the genius of its windless lift technology. Windless one cannot lift? help but surmise that its ingenuity rivals that of Cloud Retainer's creations. Oh, do not let her hear Still that. thy tongue. If Cloud Retainer were to hear you profess such a thing, we can both say farewell to any further use of the Supreme Cuisine Machine. How about one any of her machines? One that this kite belongs to you. What does she want human for? Uh -huh. Uh -oh. Regard uh -oh. the situation with which we are now confronted. This is all your fault. One's fault? One seems to recall that releasing the kite was no solitary endeavor. <laughs> Say something, Mountain Shaper. Surely you can think of something to appease her. Are they able to talk Further to each other mentally? Further shall only fan the flames of her wrath. It would be better to stay silent and retire at the earliest opportunity. <laughs> we can there. hardly avoid her forever. That may suffice during Lantern Rite, but what about the Moon Chase Festival? Sooner or later, she will discover our true identity. <sighs> Hello? Go retrieve the kite. Absolutely not. You retrieve it. Brother, that is true. not our kite. Oh man, that's the worst option. Oh, so an adeptus such as oneself is mistaken then? Ah. You're an adeptus? Please forgive us for any impropriety. I truly possess no inkling of who could have released a kite into your esteemed domain. Pray, who could be responsible for such wanton behavior? Verily, verily, we were but delighting in the surrounding scenery. This locale is home to such exquisite... Uh, ah, mint! Well, and if that's all, then we'll just be on our way. Huh. We finally caught up. You sure do fly fast in your illuminated bird form, Tianyin. I mean, it is a bird. Moon Carver? Mountain Sheeper? What are you doing here? Oh, blew the cover instantaneously. <laughs> and it's over. Okay, now Dox the bird is alive. Did she say something wrong? It is of no consequence. Long has one seen through their disguises. One was simply curious as to how long they would keep up the act. Years if they were you are not it. angry? Hm. How could one feel anger at the sight of two old friends enjoying themselves? One is also well aware of how enticing these city novelties can be. <sighs> we were simply consumed by a fit of festive spirit. Seldom do we get the opportunity to partake in the delights of the times. Do you However, choose to partake? You have the time. adept as you in matters that require a deftness of hand. No worthy kite could be born of our own making. Thus, we could only take the convenient route, so to speak. Your prowess in mechanics is unparalleled, Cloud Retainer. You wield the wind and waves themselves. Your singular talent stands unmatched across the land. Of this, we are well aware. Mm. Hm. One has guests to attend to. We will have to convene again some other time. Traveler, Paimon, do try to keep up. Really? You try to keep up, oh, fucking oh, bird. Honestly, bro. <laughs> this damn mountain fly. <laughs> Well, Mom, we're gonna make us fly back! Fuck you, devs. It seems that one's concern was misplaced after all. As it always is. Then, should we continue flying the kite? A splendid suggestion. But it would be advisable to change locations. Why did they bring it Perhaps all the way out here? Because mountain this... would suffice. It is more than spacious enough. They put it all the way to cloud retainers. A mountain. fine idea indeed. Out of all the places these two idiots could have brought it, they <laughs> brought it to the worst place. That's arguably the worst. Huh. Then again, 
I don't think anyone's considered them geniuses for how they are. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Hello, Mark. They're back. <gasps> Paimon's pooped. After you left, Yao Yao and Shu Yu tired themselves out playing with their kites. Children. And then Gami went to go fuck off Gami to take them to back. Them home. Yep. Before he left, he said something that I don't quite understand. A lot you don't huh? understand. What did he say? He said, A kite is always tied down no matter how far it flies or how high it soars. Its tether prevents it from ever truly flying free. He looked quite dejected as he said this. Bro, the man has that I project the now that you happy go lucky attitude Gami with that depressing backstory. Have a rather strange attitude towards kites. Motherfucker think he March 7th, bro. A reflection of himself. Oh, if I were a kite, I would cherish that tether as a symbol of kinship and the bonds that tie us and What's because you have no family? Shenha? It may be an exceedingly slim and distant connection, but lose it, and you lose that which links you to home. If Gaming truly sees a kite I as a reflection proverb. of himself, then I fear I understand his words even less. Well... People often have different points of view depending on their mindset and experiences, right? It's actually quite normal. Just like some people can eat spicy food, but others won't go anywhere near it? Exactly. That's why tolerance and understanding are as important as they are. Uh, tolerance and understanding? What brought about this conversation? Did one miss something? We were just chatting. You don't have to butt in on every little thing, you know. Where Actually, you anyway? <sighs> I can see how this is going to tie in with One the kite and Garming. doing a bit of cooking. Could you, could you explain that? If it has no wind, it requires the person pulling the string and guiding the string to be deafness to fly the kite. That's how Garming's probably father sees, you know, he sees himself and his father. His father is the one controlling the kite and he is the kite. And... It, Without wind, his father sees it without wind, as in true pursuing something like the wushu dancing. You can't fly. Like, that's not a real pursuit, not a real goal. But then you have uh, something like the mechanical kite that can fly on its own. It's just like the more modern idea that, nah, bro, even without the string, I can still fly. Or without the wind, you know. You'll be guiding me, but I can do it myself. You know, I, I see what they're trying to get at, bro. I get it, bro. I already wrote the story myself. Bro. I'm a Demi Hoyo death. Night fast approaches. If you are otherwise unoccupied, one would entreat you to stay and eat before you depart. Honestly. Oh, it's been so long since I've had the chance to enjoy your cooking, Cloud Retainer. Uh. I really enjoy her cooking. Worry not. Well, she one has prepared a variety of meat and vegetable dishes. One is more than familiar with everyone's culinary proclivities. They say that, like, as if Shinna can't eat meat. Or I guess Shinna doesn't like eating plants. Is that what they're... Like how dibs on pie balls for shit. Paimon's hungry, too! It's not like the dim sum and grilled fish could keep her full the whole day, you know? Shenha, Ganyu, come with me. Whoa, you will help with the preparation. Are you? Honestly, I think she would. She absolutely is the fact to play food. We can help you. Ready to serve. How about they cook it, bro? Snap. I don't know people are annoyed. I've been like half health the entire time. Sorry, bro. That's how Farina seems to work. Supreme Queen. Oh, bro, they dressed up. Bro, they balled up to dine out, bro. Don't look that snap back, bro. Oh, look at them thighs. I can feel the wind brushing against my legs. This is a bit embarrassing. Yeah, bro, she blushing and everything, bro. Someone draw that. Someone animate is that shit. Is my headpiece secure? 
I should have asked Cloud Retainer to check before I stepped outside. Bro, no rat tail. She on the bun? Oh, she got the crowd vision on the leg? The granny panties? How do we look? Huh? She got the titties on. She asked them just like that? Bro, she got the wind blowing, bro. What is she in a fucking L'Oreal commercial, bro? She's wide eyed. He was wide eyed, bro. He was staring. Like I can see my stream lag there, bro. You Too much animation. Look at that pose, really bro. You both. She out here shy, and the other one got the wind blowing for her. Of the best tailor in all of Liyue, one would expect nothing less. The best tailor. What colors have you been partial to lately, Shenhe and Ganyu? Black. Lately, why is Cloud Retainer suddenly asking about what colors we like? But she runs through every damn possibility, every time, I every like consideration. Black. There you go. She's so direct. One is gratified <laughs> to see one's disciple has inherited one's own tastes. The color black doesn't get dirty easily. A virtue I've come to value recently. And her white uniform, white hair. And you, Ganyu? I favor blue and black. Yeah. And I the wonder material is the developers. comfortable. Yes. Fucking love blue and black. Yes, very. I simply cannot thank you enough, Cloud Retainer. For this gift. And the kite, too. Yeah, I didn't know really think about it. People always talk about Shinra got nerfed. She didn't, by the way. But, like, Ganyu's outfit with her, like, no bra on the thing. I didn't realize. I'll say it, bro. Ganyu got some titties. She did not Thank have titties you, before Master. the door. It's the one that's probably. One is content. As long as you are pleased like she had them, but, like, one they weren't anything crazy. Will see much use. They certainly look a lot better. I've been talking a lot. Is it impossible to make a short out of this? Like your supreme cuisine machine is just getting better and better, Xianyan. This golden crab's particularly good. The shell's deliciously crunchy, and the meat inside is so succulent and sweet. <laughs> Paimon can't stop eating. Oh, well, can you not? Ga Ming isn't here, or Paimon would have to duel him for the food. You know, with chopsticks. I'm sure you trounce him. I believe because it's food based. He traveled all this way on account of the kite making workshop, and he spent the whole afternoon looking after Shu Yu. One was hoping to treat him to a meal. Yeah, well. <sighs> oh well. One will just have to extend one's thanks in person. Bro. It's rare for someone to make such a good impression on you, Cloud Retainer. Well, this dude <laughs> and his fucking. One has high standards. Yeah, and this character is written as a fucking Mary a Sue. Man of much merit. And or, one is not the type what's, who would see such potential like a male Mary Sue? I don't know. It appears that he wishes to break free from the kite string that tethers him. Kite string? Huh. What strange metaphors you speak in, Shen He. Ever since you returned from one mean restaurant, your turns of phrase render one at quite the loss. That's crazy, considering that's a pretty straightforward begin? one. Oh, do you know about the conflict between Ga Ming and his dad, Xin Yun? Why would she know that? One has only heard that the two are not on good terms. And where would she have heard that? Ran away from home and hasn't been back since. Oh? Ran away, you say? Oh. Huh. One believes we would all benefit from a more thorough retelling. Honestly. Start from the beginning. Oh, okay. Paimon just hopes he won't mind. He probably won't. But it's not your place anyways, but we'll do it anyways. That's a fine one. This shall not do. Damn, <laughs> even Shen was like, Land what? your right fast approaches. We must make haste. As one was contacting various tailors around Liyue, one could not help but be reminded of Minogius. Who? He possessed a singular talent for clothing design. Oh, the nigga who designed all their outfits? Not just for fabric selection and color pairing, but also for what accessories could best accentuate a garment's overall styling. At a gathering of adepti, Bonanus once complained in secret to some of the ladies in attendance that the skirt Minogius made for her was too long and impractical, lamenting that it would only hinder her in battle. However, when one asked Minogius' opinion, he remarked that the train of the skirt would serve to enhance her adepto countenance by exemplifying a certain elegance. Minogius was that type of person. 
when it came to topics relating to garments and accessories, not even Rex Lapis could best his stubbornness. And oh, later... Right. Well, after he died. <clears throat> uh, one seems to have strayed off topic. One you have a habit of that? One to say that Lantern Rite should be a day of reunion. It is a time to address problems before they turn into regrets. Is it? Well, she says Fate so. is fickle. I mean. The cruel reality of this world is that suffering and misfortune can befall any of us without design or reason. If there is a chance for young people to remain insulated from this reality, one should do one's utmost to make it so. That's nice and all, but... Very, uh, do you have any ideas, Cloud Retainer? Hmm. Perhaps adeptal arts could be of use. <sighs> no, no. Mechanics, perhaps. Hmm. One fails to see its use in a situation such as I got this. a good one. Social engineering. How was he talks to his fucking dad? Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Combining our efforts is a fine idea indeed. Aha! One has an idea. Yeah, have three hot banging over show and be like, look what I've got dad from being Does a dancer. Does that make sense to everyone? Yep. Oh, Paimon really hopes this works. Hmm. One's designs never fail. Now then, I counsel rest for all, and to make the necessary preparations. One shall see you in two days. Two days. Okay, let's see how we're gonna save Gaming's future. So this Lentorette is about him. Well, it's a bit more than just him, but you get the idea, bro. It's about him. Let's see how we can save Gami!